welcome to bsc statistics students so in this lesson i explain problems on f test for equality of variances this is also a small sample test you see the problem one of the problem i explain two random samples of sizes 9 and 12 have the standard deviations 2.9 and 2.6 drawn from two normal populations test the significance difference between the sample variances you see this particular terminology very clearly test the significance difference between the sample variances so that means we have to test whether there is any significance difference between the sample variances so it is a f test that's all and also you have to see whether the sample sizes are less than 30 less than or equal to 30 which means you see here size sizes 9 and 12 so n1 is equal to 9 n2 is equal to 12 n1 9 n2 12 and uh, therefore uh, we can conduct a f test f test for equality of variances so this is what uh, unique test so it is very simple to recognize so to test the significance difference between variances we can use f test we so come to the four points uh, which are going to be applied here first one null hypothesis h not sigma 1 square is equal to sigma 2 square that is there is no significance difference between the sample variances alternative hypothesis h1 sigma 1 square is not equal to sigma 2 square that is there is a significance difference between the sample variances not means sample variances okay and uh, third point test statistic under h0 from which you have to write all the given values n1 is equal to 9 n2 is equal to 12 and s1 is equal to 2.9 S two is equal to two point six because standard deviations. So therefore, you have to calculate in the test statistic. Uh, you have to calculate capital S one square, capital S two square. See clearly, what is capital S one square? N one S one square divided by N one minus one. This S one is nothing but the standard deviation. S one square is sample variance. Sample standard deviation S one. Sample variance S one square. This is another S one square, capital S one square. You have to calculate two values here. I will tell you how, why. Capital S one square you have to calculate based on the first sample. N one S one square by N one minus one. N one nine substitute the values. S one two point nine square whole square divided by N one minus one nine minus one is equal to some nine point four six. You calculate the value. Similarly, you calculate. Uh, The value of capital S two square, n two S two square divided by n two minus one. S two sample standard deviation S two square sample variance. So n two twelve into S two two point six whole square divided by n two minus one twelve minus one. So some seven point three seven. Why we are calculating these two values first? Because in the F statistic. We have S one square by S two square. This is the ratio. If S one square is greater than S two square, then we have to use this formula. If S two square is greater than S one square, then you have to use the formula F is equal to S two square by S one square. So that is the reason why we have to call. If you calculate these two S one square, S two square, capital S one square, capital S two square, then it will be very easy to identify to calculate which particular statistic. Either S one square by S two square or S two square by S one square. Okay. Here, since S one square is greater than S two square, nine point four six is greater than seven point three seven. Therefore, you have to use the formula test a statistic under H not F is equal to S one square by S two square, which follows F n one minus one n two minus one degrees of freedom. Which means S one square by S two square is nine point four six divided by seven point three seven is equal to some value. We will get one point two eight. And uh, thereafter, inference or comparison and conclusion while taking uh, the calculated value of f because f is always positive, greater than zero is one point two eight. 
and uh, f tabulated value or significant value at alpha level of significance f alpha comma n1 minus 1 n2 minus 1 there are two degrees of freedom for f n1 minus 1 n2 minus 1 you see always remember that it is a numerator degrees of freedom it is a denominator degrees of freedom in that fashion you see the table value the tabulated value alpha it is not given so consider take 5 percent and n1 minus 1 9 minus 1 8 n2 minus 1 12 minus 1 11 so 5 percent and 8 comma 11 degrees of freedom from f tables the value is 2.95 now you compare these to 1.28 is less than 2.95 therefore f calculated value is less than f 5 percent comma 8 comma 11 degrees of freedom tabulated value or significant value which implies h naught may be accepted what is h naught there is no significance difference between the sample variances therefore there is uh, no significance difference between the sample variances i hope you understand well so this is what a very simple test f test for equality of variances one of the problem i have explained thank you